This video is presented by EA Game Changers and a massive thanks to them for allowing me to take part in an Anthem Early Access Capture event. I appreciate it very much indeed. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today guys, I bring you max level endgame gear storm game play. But before we get into the video guys, I am giving away two full copies of Anthem to be in with a chance of winning one. Simply make sure you are subscribed to this channel, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. If you guys have already pre-ordered the game but would still like to show your support, you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and Anthem videos are what you want to see, be sure to subscribe people as I will be posting it on a daily basis for sure. Okay, so today guys, I have some exclusive footage of me using a top level Storm Javelin playing the Disaster Protocol contract. Now I've given my thoughts on the Storm Javelin suit in the past. Though not my number one pick from the four Javelins, the Storm though is already a fan favourite in my opinion. Now at this capture event, I actually used this Javelin last I believe, but after me using my favourite class the Interceptor, the Storm felt well kind of closest to it. But it's missing that agility, that fun factor that the Interceptor has, the, just the ability to get around so quick, then flips in midair the Interceptor offers, just makes it my number Number one pick but the storm although it's missing a little bit of that agility it does offer all round elemental destruction i said this in my video discussing the best javelin suits to use it was quite easy to tell that the storm is the javelin suit bioware had spent most time on I'm not saying it's op because it truly isn't i mean in the fact of design and how far away this stands from the other three javelin suits but in saying that all javelins are unique in what they can do it's just the storm is definitely the most unique looking and the design around this thing is absolutely incredible. And that's probably why it's the number one pick for most people, even though many of them haven't even played the game yet, it's just the way it looks. And if you've played the demo and you've used all javelin suits, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean. So let's check out the top tier gear being used within this gameplay. The blast seal being used, we have the epic variant of the flame burst. Creates a series of fiery explosions on target location and you guys can see the additional perks this piece offers. The focus seal is a masterwork variant of the chaotic rhyme. Upgraded frost shards fires a stream of target seeking ice shards. Masterwork addition after freezing an enemy increases left bumper slot damage by 125% for 20 seconds. Wow! Additional perks it offers are left bumper plus 25% speed, sniper plus 13% ammo, support plus 25% speed and ice plus 30% effect. Pretty awesome for sure right here. Out of the six components being used, two were masterworks. The amulet of winter, increased ice damage by 5% and ice effect by 5%. Applying ice effects increases weapon damage by 20% for 20 seconds. Additional perks, support plus 35% lock and plus 13% thrust the life. Pretty cool. Other masterwork is the token of the master. Increases blast damage by 35%. Hitting an enemy with a right bumper attack increases left bumper attack by 60% for 5 seconds. Extra perk, support plus 40% lock and plus 13% thrust of life. Nice. Other components you can see on screen now. Elemental synergy, armor reinforcement, ultimate inscription and shield reinforcement. Support seal, we have the quickening field. Zone of power bestows hasted effects to all inside. Increasing gear recharge rate by 20%. Weapons, I am using the epic variant of the Vulcan machine pistol and the epic variant of the Warden Assault Rifle. So the storm gameplay you will witness of me using this high-end gear is of the Disaster Protocol contract. Not really a difficult mission at all, but it does showcase some of the amazing pieces of loot being wielded by this javelin right now. And I will leave you guys to watch the video people. At the end you will see me creating this amazing looking storm with a new armor set, so enjoy it guys. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. I do hope you enjoy this storm gameplay. If you do, leave a like, it really does help out. So if you guys are new around here and want to see more Anthem videos be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video i upload turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one
You're getting this done very quickly. Yes, that should be enough. I have another diversion for you. An Arcanist friend of mine hasn't responded to any of my messages. Something's happened. Please see what you can find. Okay, come on. Wait for help.
Training exceptionally done. Thanks for the save. That was well done. You do fine work. I see we can use your help in another matter. Won't take a second. I want to make sure an area is safe before my colleagues make camp. Can you assist? I'll see what I can do. Too dangerous. Let me check it out. Exceptionally done. Are all freelancers like you? Amazing work. <laughs>